heart of every Royal Caribbean vacation are more than 60,000 crew members from all walks of life. And when you're creating the world's best vacation, you've got to have the world's best crew and the home away from home to match. On this episode of Making an Icon, we're exploring where Icon of the Seas 2,300 crew members will live and work. They have their own neighborhood with places like an indoor and outdoor pub, a gym, and a salon. There's even an all new way to stay. Let's check it all out. Building Icon of the Seas and putting all these amazing neighborhoods and wow moments on there, that's really the beginning of the experience. But in order to deliver on that experience, it will require what makes Royal Caribbean so special, which is our crew. When I worked on the Royal Caribbean ships, the innovation was reflected in the crew accommodations even way back then. The amount of energy and investment has increased and it, it very much mirrors the guest. We really purposefully tried to bring the majority of all of their external spaces, the public spaces we call them, together into one neighborhood. We've really elevated the crew experience on Icon, everything from the crew cabin to the crew amenities, to the crew spaces. As the saying goes, happy crew, happy guests. And a blank canvas like Icon opened the door to making the crew feel at home, more so than ever before. Like everything at Royal Caribbean, it started with research and going straight to the source, the crew. Well, the good thing about a new class of ships is that we really get a chance to start from scratch and elevate the crew life on board. We've also spent a lot of time focusing on how do we bring a better experience for our crew, whether that's more privacy, more activities and spaces for them. We took a clean sheet and started with a huge survey to the fleet to get really, really good feedbacks from our crew, exactly what was really important for them. With thousands of survey results and more than 50 years of learnings, what's been reimagined for the crew runs the gamut. At the top of that list is where they start and end their day, their room. An entirely new type of room is coming to Icon. In fact, it was designed by crew for crew and it's been patented for its unique layout. But it took a few tries to get it right. One of the things that we've done with Icon is put a lot of design focus on the crew accommodation. Uh, as a former crew member, I, I think it's an incredibly important space. The number one thing out of the survey was the crew accommodation. How do we redesign the space? It has been identified that they wanted privacy, they wanted more storage, they wanted to uh, really feel like they had their own space. We went through the classic process where a bunch of executives and architects designed what they thought a crew wanted. They took a look and turns out it didn't work, so we let them sit down with architects and design their own cabin. Over a thousand crew were involved in the design of the space. Over 25 positions, 25 nationalities. We had mock-ups built and we had crew members walk on the mock-ups and give us their feedback. And that's how we ended up with the design that we have today. So we created an L-shaped stateroom. This accommodation allows each crew member to have their own private space where they can really relax and uh, have their own time. And what came out of that, we patented and it'll make its debut on Icon. This is their home away from home, so everything that they required within that space really came through and I think they're going to be very happy. There's more where that came from. The activities and places to celebrate, eat, have a drink, and even play video games look and feel different too. So finishes, wall coverings, things that they would touch and see, in the guest space will feel similar to them in the crew space for the first time. Really leaning into the crew experience and making this not just the best family vacation, but the best crew experience in the world. They will have plenty of areas where they can go and hang out, relax, 
also have fun. One of the things that we've enhanced is what's called the clubhouse. It's an area at the front of the ship and it's our space to really kind of chill out and relax. We've got our coffee shop there. It's our place to really bond as a team, but to also be in our own community. You can grab a coffee, a cocktail. We have a lounge seating area, TVs at all angles. We have a private lounge. We also have massage chairs with virtual balconies in front of them so they can sit and enjoy the view outside. Then comes along the pool table, ping pong tables, foosball tables. The crew can look forward to in the crew wind jammer, a lot of the same options that we serve to our guests. That was something that was very important to us when developing the menus. You're gonna see those hot, cold stations throughout, but we're also introducing the live cooking stations that we have for our guests in our crew area. They really have that experience where the wind jammer is gonna be more dynamic, more elevated. We actually have ocean views from our crew wind jammer. We have portholes on the side of the walls there, giving our crew the ability to look out into the ocean. Crew Pub will have forward-facing views, but also have the ability to go outside to the crew outdoor area, which gives the flexibility of being indoor to enjoy the cocktails, as well as coming outdoor and enjoying the fresh air. Our crew really loves to celebrate while they're on board, and we wanted to make sure they had a space to do so. The multifunction room can completely transform for a celebration. We worked on the development of the karaoke feasibility, the entertainment feasibility, the setup feasibility, how to make it um, not just a entertainment venue for them, but also for training purposes. Next door is the crew training space that allows for setup for training. So we have a cross-functional space. We can open it up and allow for that to be a bigger space if needed. Crew gaming is definitely a fun space. We've developed for those gamers divided spaces that allow for everyone to have their own nook and direct connection to the clubhouse as well. The crew have their own barbershop, their own gym, their own store, their own gaming room, and we're looking forward to seeing their reactions on day one. ICON is on its way to not only set a new standard for vacations, but a new standard of community and home for the dedicated crew. But as the heart and soul of Royal Caribbean, the crew's home will only truly come to life as soon as they board. One of the things I always look forward to is when we bring all of our crew on board and get our crew settled into what has been known as home for them. And we're really looking forward to that because that's when the ship really becomes the ship. The crew members will arrive and once they're here, it's all about getting to know the ship, their job, and they bring their, their attitudes, their culture, the Royal Caribbean culture, and forming this team that will ultimately sail the ship and be ready to welcome our guests uh, and deliver these world-class uh, vacations. There's a degree of practicality that has to be applied for all of our crew spaces because we have a lot of crew. So you've got to find that balance between functionality, practicality, and comfort and design. And I think we found that with ICON for us to think as where our crew live as a neighborhood. It talks a lot about our focus on the crew and the appreciation of the experiences delivered by the crew. They're the ones helping create these incredible memories. There's more to the story of creating the new standard of vacations. Stay tuned for the next episode of Making an Icon, where a walk along the avenue takes on a whole new meaning.